YouTube, what's good? Today is Thursday, I believe November 16th. We're heading to a little local book sale at a local library. It's a $10 grocery bag. I'm not sure if that means like the plastic grocery bags or the big reusable ones, but I guess we'll see. There's always big money to be made at these bag sales because you can usually fit 20 to 30 books in there, paying a 50 cents or less a book. So if you can get a good volume, you're gonna make some good money. So I'm gonna take you guys with me today. That's gonna be today's vlog, book sale, hunting for some books to sell on Amazon. So just stay tuned. All right guys, I just pulled up to the book sale. It's in there. It's Tempe Library here in Arizona. Uh, I'm not sure how much competition there will be. I usually don't see too much at these library sales and they actually just posted this listing on booksalefinder.com. That's also a good website to go to if you wanna find book sales. So I'm hoping there's no competition here, but we'll see. I'm gonna try and record in there, but it's kind of harder to in a library, especially when I know this library particularly is kind of strict on that type of stuff, but I'll try my hardest. If not, I'll try and catch some pictures for you guys and then put the put those clips in the video as well. So yeah, just stay tuned. All right guys, this is what I ended up getting. Two full bags full of books. As you can see, they're stacked full of books. Um, let me get back in the front seat. All right, so just got out of that book sale. We're able to pull out two full bags of books, um, $10 a piece. So I'd say I got at least probably 70 to 80 books or maybe 60 to 80 in that range. So I spent $20 total. So if you do the math, my average cost per book is around 30 to 40 cents. And I'm probably making a minimum profit of two to three dollars per book minimum. Now there's books in there that are gonna make me 30 or 40 dollars, like the bigger textbooks and stuff like that. But I'd say all together a few hundred bucks in there just in those two bags. And it literally took me like 30 minutes to get in and out of there. It's a small book room. Um, there is no competition like I predicted. Um, there was a decent amount of people in there, but it was mostly just like people in there looking to, you know, get books for themselves. And uh, where the hell did I put my keys? I think I left my keys in the back, but yeah, successful book sale. I'm about to head to another thrift store, so I'm going to take you guys with me on that. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned and make sure you're looking up for these book sales on booksalefinder.com because if you're just going to thrift stores and stuff like that, the cheapest I've seen at thrift stores to get books is a dollar mostly. Sometimes you'll find 50 cents, but that's if you're really lucky, especially if you're at Goodwills and stuff. Goodwill paperbacks are a buck 99, hardcovers are three. Um, I usually only go to Goodwill on 50% off Saturdays to get books now just because I'm getting them from elsewhere um, but a quick tip for you guys if you guys just want to if you guys always want to get 50% off books at Goodwill look which color tag of the day it is and then just go in the book section and only scan that color tag of books and you'd be surprised sometimes I've pulled out 20 books just on one color tag and gotten 50% off all of them because if you don't get 50% off on some of them the profit margin just isn't there as if you had to pay full price. So that's a quick tip of the day. So yeah, just stay tuned. All right, guys, pulled up to the next thrift shop over here. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it's a local thrift shop in my area. I usually pull some good books out of here for, and they have good deals. So I'm gonna head up in there, see what I can get, and I'll show you guys what I get when I get out of there. All right, guys, just got out of that thrift store. I did decent, nothing too crazy. Um, the guy actually messed up on the price like these video games right here. They're supposed to be four bucks a piece Then I got all these books as well a few books probably like seven eight books, but I got all of it for $14 um, The really big score was This game right here dance dance revolution on the ps3 Let me pull up how much it's gonna go for real quick on Amazon the other games probably about six seven dollar profits and then the books around anywhere from three to six dollar profits a piece um so at least a hundred in profits pulled out of that thrift store in about 30 minutes i cannot complain about that but if you can see right here let me flip this around 
Um, this Dance Dance Revolution game. It's ranked 20,000. Not the best rank, but it's decent. If you can see FBA offers on this. The first FBA offer is $44. So I'll probably sell it for the same price after fees and whatnot. I'll probably make at least a good $32, $33 profit just on this one game. Plus all the rest of this stuff right here. Got this Star Wars game that's going for about 20, this going for about 15, and then the rest of these books right here. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all I got there, plus the stuff at the book sale. That's probably get, gonna conclude this video for today just because I have to go to class right now. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and stay tuned for my um, how to make money on Amazon selling used books video. I'm gonna go over all the tools I use, I'm also gonna go over where to source the books, how to price your books, and also a uh, repricer I use. Um, I'll do another separate video on the repricer going into settings and whatnot, um, but a repricer is definitely a good thing to have if you're doing a lot of volume because you just can't go in and manually reprice all your books efficiently. It's going to take hours. I used to do that, but as I started getting higher volume in my inventory, I had a you know, I had to upgrade to a repricer and because sitting down and just manually repricing all the books was taking four or five hours sometimes because I had like a thousand books in there at that point. But yeah, stay tuned. If you like this video, please throw a like. Hit the like button down below. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos. Leave me a comment. What do you guys want to see from me? Um, questions, anything like that. I'll make videos on it recommendations for videos anything like that uh, my uh, social media handles will be below Instagram snapchat Twitter and Facebook everything like that so yeah just stay tuned be ready because I'm gonna be dropping jewels on this channel um, anyone who's looking to start an FBA business on Amazon make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one